Hey everybody, welcome back to our Final Fantasy Mystic Quest Let's Play. I am Drac. Let's get to it, shall we? Once again, we are in the Lava Dome. So this is the third part where we're here. And we're here to, cr to cleanse free, whatever you want to say, the Fire Crystal. And at that point, we will have saved three crystals. <laughs> and in the meantime, we're fighting vampires and gargoyles. Not exactly fire themed, but okay. And they're kicking Ruben around. We don't appreciate that. Ruben's a nice guy. And of course, right there. Easy solution. I get the brown chests, and I only had to fight one fight. And if anybody hadn't noticed, we also leveled up with Benjamin. So now we are on equal footing with Ruben. So, yay, we're powerful again. Again, I don't have that problem. But I'm not going into that again. Yes, guys, I know, I repeat myself. I understand. I'm a little OCD when it comes to that. Alright, and we are making our way into the next room. I think we're almost done. Uh, we just barely hit the, uh, the button for the gate. So, there's the gate right there. We're, we're pretty close. And for those who didn't know, we actually did upgrade our claw. We're, I think we're on the charm claw now. That's not the one I want, though. The one I want, aptly enough, Tristam has, which is the Dragon's Claw. Oh, spoiler alert. Guys, this game has been out for like 10 plus years. I can spoil, right? Statute of Limitations ran out. Okay, cool. And that was pointless. Awesome. Like I said, I'm going through this via memory, so I, that does kind of mean I have to explore a little bit. And that's the way I think it should be done. No strategy guides for this guy. We'll use them later when we get into more complicated games. I know I made the compromise with Fantasy Star, but that's just because the maps were complicated, okay? <laughs> they were complicated. Especially by a Malay. <laughs> Mmm, downstairs we go. Now, for those who don't know, and, and I'm happy to announce this, um, I actually do a radio program for my college radio station called Adam's Evening of Geekery, because that is my real name. Um, I go by both, Drac or Adam, don't care. Uh, I've been doing that for pretty much since February. So, I am actually trying... I've, I've worked out a deal with my college to be able to move that into a podcast format. So, I will be putting it up on iTunes pretty soon. I just need server storage. As soon as I have that and have found a good service, then I will let you guys know and you guys get first dibs on uh, Adam's Evening of Geekery, where I do geeky news, opinions, and reviews. Yes, I actually started doing reviews um, starting with the summer blockbuster season. So, I've just been mainly doing... Um, movie reviews and kind of keeping my game reviews to these. But game reviews will be coming. I, I am already trying to work out that format, so I will be doing game reviews both on current as well as old games that I'm going through. I thought about starting up with the Darksider series. I have decided against it. I've already said what I think about it. I can't really go too, too much more into detail. But the next game that I do... You're up. And I will be doing both current and old games, so if you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or you can also do, uh, you can also leave me a comment on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash drac2326. You guys getting sick and tired of me plugging stuff? I kind of get sick and tired of saying it, but you know. It's test social networking. And here we are to fight more hot wings. Still sounds weird in my head. Hot wings. I 
and further and further we go into the Lava Dome. I love the fact that there are gold bars there. You can't pick them up, they're just supposed to be like a block or an obstacle. I don't think you can bomb them either. They are just a solid obstacle. Why? I want to pick them up. They're shiny. I don't get it. And more Hot Wings dead. We are killing the Hot Wing population before the Super Bowl. I don't know why, but we are. And now we're killing Hot Wings and Ninjas. I secretly serve the pirates? No. No. I am one of those few where, who goes the pirates versus ninjas, but they're both cool. Why would I pit them against each other? They would only help each other. More platforming in an RPG! What? Yes, you platform in an RPG. It's the only time in a Final Fantasy game you do it, but, you know. Is it? And I guess you could count the later games, but not by much. Next door! And there's the gate. So we are really close to being done with the fire or with the lava dome. Oh yes, it's the platforming of doom room. It's platforming or bust. If you haven't played Mario, we don't know what to tell you here. Even though we're trying to prep you for RPG gameplay. If you haven't played Mario, I guess you're up a creek. Try and make sense of that in your head. But we're gonna do it! Platforming! If Shadow Blazer 3000 can hear me in the distance, it's platforming! We will make that meme work. By the way, guys, I hope you got, uh, all are also enjoying the Draken Shadow LPs. If you aren't, go to uh, youtube.com slash Draken Shadow. Uh, we've done a lot of LPs thus far. We've done... We just barely finished Sonic 2, so we've done three Sonic games. Uh, we got done with Fantasy Star and are currently doing Dot Hack, Dot Hack Infection. Uh, we did Shadows of the Empire, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, and moved on to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, which we're currently on. And we're getting ready to end pretty soon, because uh, we're getting close to the end content for that. So that'll be cool. And uh, by the time that this, uh, this part hits, uh, we will also have announced what will follow Jack and Daxter. Uh, which will be the first ever fan pick. We have actually gotten fan suggestions for LPs. We've been wanting to do one for a while now, and we finally found one that's stuck. So, I'm not going to tell you what it is here. You're going to have to go to youtube.com slash Shadow to find out. But we're doing the first ever fan pick. And in the meantime, we're taking on the boss. Happily enough, a two-headed dragon. Yeah, seems fire appropriate. It's the end of the line for you. And it's the dual head Hydra. But I have holy or white. One or the other. Ha 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 ha. We can't be paralyzed. And you will go down even if you poison us. And yes, this is the boss for the Lava Dome, so as soon as we kill him, we free the Fire Crystal. Ooh. Ah, first battle damage. We lose a head. Aw, but he's gonna be lonely. We don't care. Oh no, Ruben's petrified. Quick, heal him! And a petrified Benjamin. Dude! 
I don't normally curse, but dick move right there. And we're down to our last wizard spell, so we're probably going to have to use a seed. Mid-fight. Ah, next battle damage phase. Now he's just mad at us. How dare you hit me with holy magic! I'm apparently from the Thorgan. You will not free the fire crystal. Because this sounds very fire themed. Okay, I'll stop. No! We need a seed! And now we're using Blizzard. Because why not? Ah, more battle damage. We've torn apart the wings, and he's even more mad at us. But seriously, guys, I told you to stop hitting me. Because we got to get the lions in the form of Ultron. Hmm, bet you didn't see Sven coming, did you? I love doing Sven from Voltron, and he wasn't in there enough. More thunder from the fire-themed monster. I guess... In Avatar The Last Airbender, they got away with lightning with fire. Mm. Oh, come on, go down already. Do I have to get more white? Nope, I don't. You died. Ha 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 ha. He exploded. Oh. Ooh, pretty. Yay! We did it! There's one crystal left to go! I remember a person from Windia saying something about a crystal. Windia? Where's that? To the southeast of the Focus Tower. So now we know where we need to go. Oh, but wait. No, the volcano has erupted! No! And we got the sun coin, so we have the final coin that we need to open doors. That'll be helpful. And we also get an exit out of the lava dome, so that's very helpful. And you can see it kind of cleared away for us, and we also did a little bit of grinding in the meantime. If you guys saw that it was a clear, uh, full tile, now it's cracked. Uh, I don't do grinding on camera, so if you wanted to see the grinding, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope the commentary is enough. So yeah, we did a little bit of grinding out to the Lava Dome. We are now above Ruben, thankfully. And we're back at the fo Focus Tower to get ready to go to Windia, where the Wind Crystal resides. Hmm. Nope, don't get it. Not at all. They lost me! And as you can tell, uh... We did. We did only did a little bit of walking in the Fireberg area. There's no more earthquakes. Yay! So we saved the world. Well, not quite. We saved the fire area because we're good heroes that way. And see, we already had the sand coin, the river coin, and the sun coin is next. So it opened, and the old man is here. Hurry to India. But be on the lookout for Captain Mac's ship. Uh, again to Captain Mac. What? Why do we keep on hearing about this pirate dude? Is he a pirate? We don't know. We only know that Spencer knows of him. And the old man. But do we really trust the old man? I mean, after all, he went to go get himself a cup of coffee and then bring me back one. I mean, seriously. Oh, and now we're in a new area. Apparently below the Focus Tower is Doom Castle. Gee, that sounds like some place we'll be going. Hmm?
and just FYI, some of the enemies in this area are a little overpowered for us, but we make it work. Because boom, we killed him. We did it. We saved him. And we got Arrow as a spell. This is one of the few Final Fantasy games where you actually get a wind-based spell. So, weirdly enough, there are wind-based spells in other games, you just don't get the spell. I don't know if they ever explained why, but... Okay. And now we're in the area to go to Windia. But first, we gotta cross a rope bridge. That sounds safe, right? Totally. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, weird monster. Step back, Benjamin, and leave this filthy monster to me! I don't know why I gave him a superhero accent, but I did. Yeah, nice work, hero. It's a golden mummy! That's actually really called a mummy! I think they were called zombies for before. And we made him naked. Quick, avert your eyes! Interesting part about this bridge. Ruben! I'm alright, keep going, I'll catch up. What a convenient way to get lo to lose a character. I like this guy. Oh, it's you. But he fell, kid. Yeah, but he's okay. And I'll tag along with you for a bit. I don't want you there! No, 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 no. no. No, you give me that hook shot. You don't get to travel with me. All right, so now we have him as a party member. Tristam. Eh, I don't like him. He's not as cool a character as, say, Ruben or Phoebe. Just saying. But in the meantime, we get the Tristam theme. That's one thing I haven't really talked a whole lot about in this LP, is uh, Final Fantasy, what they're really known for, aside from good games, is uh, music. Music is always good in the games. Uh, Nobuo Uematsu, who does pretty much has, has pretty much done all the scores for it, love his music, love his compositions. If you guys want to pick up Final Fantasy games, pick them up solely for the music. It is beautiful. Big fan of the Final Fantasy music, as you can tell. Alright, so we go past the rope bridge, but we actually are going to take a quick break uh, at some point.